welcome back. Yes, I know it's been a uh, been a few weeks. I've been uh, really busy over the last sort of four or five weeks. I've been to a number of uh, number of shows. So if you came and see me at um, well, either of the big ones or the Essex Carp Show, it was great to meet you. Um, it was great to obviously speak about the deepers and everything else, answer your questions and uh, sell you, a few of you, uh, some sonars as well, which I am hope you'll put into good use. So, as you can see, the car's loaded. Now, I'm actually just sat at the gate of Welford Pools. I've booked on, um, it's Friday, so first day of the bank holiday for Easter. I'm uh, sat at the gate just waiting for that to open and I'll have 24 hours ahead of me. Now um, the weather is absolutely mental. Um, I don't think, you know, f from the very early uh, sort of stages of, of, of April we've, uh, we've had it all. Snow, rain, wind and uh, now believe it or not today we've got uh, 20 up to 20 degrees temperatures as well so I don't know what that's going to do to the fishing but it's just nice to be out, nice to see the sun shining and feel that warmth. So, as I say, I'm just waiting for the gate to open and I'm going to jump out, go and have a little look around. I know tomorrow there are no more tickets, so uh, I don't know how many people are on at the moment, but uh, as soon as this gate's open, I will be jumping out, go and have a look, find myself a spot, and uh, we will go from there. So I'll catch up with you in a little while. my chosen swim for the next 24 hours now it's really really busy there's probably well one maybe two swims free and uh, yeah it was a bit like wacky races once that uh, main gate opened but me being me I just like to keep myself away from everybody and sort of do my own thing let everybody else just run and get on with things whereas I just like to take a step back and just assess the sort of situation at the moment but I'm uh, happy with this swim because literally after about two minutes of being stood in here one boshed out right in the middle and it was a proper bosh as well so uh, I'm happy that <clears throat> there's fish in front of me I've uh, got on the barrow for this session my new baiting pole so I don't know if you've seen from my social media but uh, yeah I've acquired a baiting pole which uh, I'm hopefully going to put to good use on this session the sun is really, really bright as you can see the minute I step out of that tree line. Um, just trying to give myself a bit of shade so I can actually see what I'm, uh, see what I'm doing on the camera. But yeah, the sun is high in the sky. It's going to be 20 degrees today and uh, the chances are that a daytime bite will probably be pretty slim. But for now, I'm going to keep everything as it is on the barrow. Just get one rod sorted, get it out to where I see that show a good sort of three, four minutes ago. I couldn't get it back quick enough with a barrow. so. I'm gonna flick a bag out and uh, yeah, see if anything happens. It'll just allow me to get sorted with me other bits and pieces. And uh, yeah, you never know. There might be an early early bite on the cards, but um, yeah, it's definitely a warm one. So let's get sorted and uh, see what the next 24 hours has to bring. So I don't know if you can see that slight discoloration there, right in the centre of the picture. A fish has just flopped right out, and obviously it stirred that bottom up, bottom up as well. So. What I've done is just got my new baiting pole and spoon. Sort of enough sections there that I think will probably reach it. And what I'm going to do, stick my solid bag straight on top of that cloud and uh, see what happens. Just as I've been sort of sat there, just quickly knocking this solid bag up. Um, basically. I've seen a good amount of small little patches of fizzers up and that's the second show I've seen in front of this section of water so I'm massively confident that I'm on fish and if I put my glasses on my uh, sort of Polaroids I'll probably be able to have a little bit of a better view of the cloudiness of that water but there's definitely one or two fish in front of me so let's get the bag in that pole and see if we can christen it with a fish.
rods are now out courtesy of the new baiting pole quite impressed with that so far obviously only used it short range you know you're probably talking what 20 yards or so I didn't uh, I didn't count the uh, sections or anything I just wanted to get them out exactly into the area where I just sort of saw those two fish earlier and where the uh, sort of smoking up was happening really so I'm just gonna sit on them really for a couple of hours it's um it's really really warming up and uh, probably the chances of getting a bite are probably slipping away for today or at least maybe the daytime anyway um, I've got quite a lot of margin to play with as well, both left and right, so depending on what happens through the day, what I see, I might even just bait up a couple of margins as well, left and right, and just keep an eye on them, see if anything sort of sneaks in through the hours of uh, three hours of daylight, or even sort of late afternoon, early evening, but um, yeah, I've got a few options in front of me with quite a bit of water to play with, but whilst everyone else was setting up bivvies and God knows what else, I quickly dispatched two solid bags into the area where uh, I saw two fish show, so you never know, got to be in it to win it. The rods are out there doing it, so uh, I think it's time for me to sit back, chill out for an hour, keep myself nice and quiet, let the fish sort of come on to me. It is very, very, very busy, as you can imagine, being Easter weekend, so I'm um, just going to have to play it by ear, really, for the course of the day. and. Uh, We'll go in with the into the evening with a bit more of a plan of attack. So, yeah, fingers crossed it's worth the effort getting them rods out quick time. Maybe a chance of sticking an early fish on the map, but we'll have to wait and see. So, so that's enough of me rabbiting on for now. I'm going to get the kettle on, sit back, and enjoy this beautiful sunshine. just after midday nothing's happened obviously on the rods um, but what I'm seeing in front of my swim that you would have seen from the previous little clips is um, just regular sort of plumes of bubbles just keep coming up now I don't know if it's just the you know the, the lake bed just turning over little sort of gassy pockets with it being warm and stuff like that stuff's just sort of lifting from the lake bed and just releasing gases and stuff like that I don't really know but uh, it seems to be you know quite regular so what I'm gonna do in here I've got a uh, deeper arm attachment I could quite easily just flick the uh, deeper over the back of it and run it over the top but I just think if there are any fish down there then uh, just running the spoon over the top of the deeper on it will um, hopefully reveal whether there's any fish uh, down there or not and if so, then I can uh, just whip one of the rods in and just bring them in a lot closer. But even still, as I speak now, they're just, uh, yeah, them bubbles are just still coming up. And like I say, it's really, it's just more intriguing to know if it's, uh, if there are any fish down there. Or whether it is just, like I say, the lake bed just releasing gases. So I'm going to um, get the get the deeper mounted onto the pole and uh, ship it out there and see what it reveals. Well, see, so I'm never going to believe this. So uh, I'd add the baiting pole out with the uh, chirp mounted on the end. Just kind of like fanning it out in front of me really because I said I've been seeing those pockets of uh, <clears throat> pockets of bubbles coming up and uh, I was just intrigued to know what they were. So I'd moved the uh, baiting pole over to the right hand side of the rods just so I could have a fan about in that section of water. And then I hear tick 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 on my rod and I thought brilliant, the spoon's uh, caught onto the right hand rod and it went tick 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 again. I was like, that's weird, I've not pushed the spoon out any further. And then it just absolutely tore off. Which has resulted in a chunk, a decent one as well. So it's all uh, unhooked, etc. It's just ready to be lifted onto the mat. I'm just in a massive mess at the moment, running around like a headless chicken. Just a bite out of the blue in the uh, midday heat. I wasn't expecting that, to be quite honest. So I'm a bit all over the place. So gonna get the mat and everything sorted get it up and we'll have a proper look at it but yeah it's a proper cheese get in there look at the size of this 30 you know just shy of 33 pounds ounces absolute unit 
Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> Absolutely buzzing, buzzing, buzzing like you would not believe. Solid bag, sea monster, two hours out in the lake and the rest is history. Look at that, wow, wow, wow. That's exactly why I come to Welford Pools because there are some absolute units in here and they are absolutely stunning at the same time. Oh my God, what an absolute chunk. I am made up, like literally I could go home now. I am so, so happy. I've been waiting for a fish out of here of a reasonable size for a while now. And finally, in conditions that I just would never have dreamed of catching. But look at that, it weighs an absolute ton. It's as wide as a breeze block and my back is quivering. Look at that, what a unit. Right, I need to take five minutes to uh, just compose myself and now that the rod's in and the uh, second rod will have to come in shortly as well just for a bit of a freshen up, I thought I would talk you through uh, how I've got my rod set up for this session and what just caught me, that 32 pounder. So you would have seen this last time that I come down to Welford, I've got a lead free leader, liquid leader. It's really, really supple, really, really heavy. It's in a sort of clay, muddy brown colour, flecks of uh, light and dark which really help pin it to the lake bed and uh, also, you know, <clears throat> keep everything out the way of the fish. But uh, that is really like nice and camouflaged and will just help blend it in when it's, uh, when it's down there. And then I've got a two and a half ounce inline lead and then a three and a half, three to three and a half inch rig, size four wide gape hook and all that will go inside a solid bag. Now mounted to the hair of the uh, of the rig itself, it's my ever faithful, you would have seen these a million and one times before, Sea Monster Pink Wafters. Now these are discontinued, I managed to get myself a few, uh, a few tubs before they were uh, sort of off of general sale, so I'm so glad because these really, really do get me a bite at this place and many other places as well. Um, I just don't know what it is, I had the utmost confidence in these hook baits and they will be my go-to hook bait every single time I'm using solid bags. I, there's just something about them, the colour, the smell, the size, just everything. Just confidence in every single little one of those inside that tub. But yeah, really simple tactics, I've not put any loose feed out with that solid bag this morning. I pulled two out, one slightly shorter, one slightly longer into where they were sort of clouding up and into the area where I saw the two shows upon arrival and uh, yeah this is what has done me the bite so <clears throat> what I'm going to do is just get this one redone get it shipped back out there get the second rod freshened up as well and you never know um, there may be a chance of another bite or two Both the rods gone back out, it's absolutely black with fish out there. It's um, absolutely roasting, not going to lie. But uh, there's sort of little pods, three or four different pods of fish. It looks like five or six different fish, just generally underneath the surface. Um, I've just spooned out my uh, two solid bags amongst them. You know, I should probably flick a couple of zigs out, really, to be quite honest. But uh, I'm just happy spooning out a couple of bags. I uh, ran deeper around 
out there and it's only five foot and they they're not you know backs out the water so they're probably about a foot underneath the water so there's only four foot below them to uh, drop down on and if it's good enough for a 33 pounder then uh, it's good enough for one of those out still out there as well so I'm just going to uh, kick back in the shade a little bit it's just been a manic last hour or so getting the rods back out and all that business I'm uh, feeling rather fatigued so I'm gonna have a little sit down nice cold drink <clears throat> maybe a bite to eat and uh, yeah just keep myself right back from the water's edge and uh, see how the rest of the afternoon goes but it's absolutely glorious it's absolutely beautiful and catching that fish it's pretty much just made my Easter So we've got two solid bags there, pink sea monsters inside both and then I'll just take a sort of good generous handful of the cream, you know, a monster red pellet and stick them in the uh, baiting spoon as well. They will uh, break down in no time but those red pellets they give off like a, a nice red sort of um, like hue and it's just like a, you know, just gives off like a red cloud in from the uh, the pellet so you never know they might just help draw a few fish into the area but yeah a couple of solid bags ready to be loaded out in that literally just before i flicked the camera on one just showed in open water so it's nice to know there's a few knocking around here but uh, i reckon most of the lake stock are definitely in that half of the lake based on what i've just seen but uh yeah it's time to get this loaded get a couple of rods out get the pizza on and see what the uh, evening has in store but it's been an absolute roasting hot day nothing's really materialized after that fish really I've just seen loads of you know little groups of fish just <clears throat> milling up and down the lake really so yeah I kind of anticipated nothing else really happening but um, it was worth just keeping the rods out just for the sake of having them because yeah I wasn't expecting that bite this morning but it happened so enough uh, rabbiting on from me Let's get these rods sorted, get them out for the night and uh, see what the hours of darkness has in store. Just after 10pm uh, and uh, the right hand rod has had me scrambling out of the sleeping bag and uh, we've got one in the net. Not uh, not as big as the first one but very very welcome. Um, they've been boshing out all afternoon well into dark and uh, it's nice to get one this side of midnight so I'll uh, get the camera and the mat and stuff set up and uh, we'll have a little look at it. There you go then second of the session solid bag business again sea monster just out into sort of open water middle of the lake area where i've seen them sort of patrolling through the course of the day and uh it's really nice mid double i say haven't weighed it but look how pretty this one is really really nice scaly one just swing it around to show you the other side well there we go then there's the other side definitely uh, putting up more of a fight on the mat than he did out in the water but uh, yeah really really nice clean scaly one get a few snaps slip it back get that uh, baiting spoon loaded up get it back out there see if we can make it a hat trick
so uh, it's around half past seven. I've been up for, I don't know, the best part of a couple of hours already. Um, got up around half past five and uh, nothing was really sort of happening as you would have seen from the previous clip. did have one through the night last night. Very early doors though, so around what, half past ten. So I was quite expecting it to uh, to kick off, to be quite honest. There was a number, a number of boshes and sloshes left, right and centre. So uh, I was fully expecting to potentially have another one or two fish, to be quite honest. Um, the the, the right-hand rod that I redone went straight back out really, really easy with the pole. Which, um, yeah, made life a little bit easier for me uh, in the dark. Um, so yeah, I was quite expecting it to, to happen last night. But more than happy with nicking another fish. I'm can honestly say I didn't hear any other alarms around me um, so it's nice to nick, nick a bite kettles on in the background as you can hear second coffee of the morning I'm absolutely uh, absolutely shattered this morning didn't have the best night's sleep and it took me absolutely ages to uh, get back off after that fish so just going to try and dry things out for the next couple of hours the sun is starting to peep through it's going to be another really warm day today uh, up to 20 degrees but um, yeah I'm off at 10 a.m. anyway so just gonna try and dry this off behind me and dry the net and the mat and the sling and stuff but I'm not gonna complain if it means that uh, in the next couple of hours one of these rods go rattling off so I redone them around sort of six half six obviously the left hand rod had been out all night and uh, that was on a solid bag as well so there's probably next to nothing down there anyway so I quickly add them both in redone them both this morning, slipped them straight back out on the pole, no disturbance um, and like I said I've already started to see shows in the last sort of half an hour or so so yeah, I'm going to keep everything crossed so I can make it a hat trick before I leave but I am definitely not complaining with the way that the session has gone so far so I'm going to get this kettle brewing, get a coffee down my neck, sit back and uh, hope that one of them scream off The last 20 minutes of this 24 hour session, as you can see, barrow loaded to the brim. Just over my shoulder on the deck are the two rods, and uh, yeah, that will be that for this weekend. So, yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing to have uh, nicked one of the, the biggies out of the lake. You know, as I said at the very start, I've been chasing a big one. Um, since coming down here and catching regularly so my aim was to catch a 25 plus and I just smashed that right out the park and it was nice to back it up last night with another fish as well so you never know one of them may well just spin yet before I've got to disappear but uh, yeah if you got this far then thank you for watching appreciate you uh, watching the video and showing an interest in my fishing as always um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button keep up to date with obviously all of my other videos that will be coming out throughout the course of the year um, you know my review my up close products or videos and reviews and bits and pieces like that so yeah loads more to come this year don't forget as always get in touch over on any of my social media as well it's always great to hear from you any questions or anything like that feel free to fire them over I'll do my very best to help you but uh, yeah from me and well for pools it's been a blast and I'll catch up with you next time I am out on the bank.